These commands I'm gonna show you are all you need, not only get started with Git, but also to work with Git day to day. These are the commands that I use on a regular basis. Git clone, git initialize, git remote, git status, git commit, git checkout, git merge, git diff, git what change, and git log. If you want to take changes from one branch to the other, for example, you want to bring in your branch back into the master because you're not happy with it, or there are, you've pulled down some new changes to the master branch and you want to bring it into your branch so you can work with the latest code, you need to use the git merge or git rebase command. The difference is git merge will add a new commit with the changes, whereas a git rebase will replay the the commit one by one. The benefit of doing a rebase is you don't get a big, you don't get smacked of a big conflict of changes if there are conflicts. With rebase, it will take you through each commit at a time, and if there is a conflict, you can solve it each commit from the history. But if you're keeping your branch up to date quite often, it shouldn't be too much of an issue. So let's have a look. So I'm happy with my readme changes, but let's just check them. How can I see? So I can go git diff and it'll give me a diff of all the changes to all the files. So you see you've got license at the top first, I added in a line, then you've got the readme next and it's saying that I removed the line, I added a line, removed the line, added a line, etc., and so forth. So you can also specify a file, so I could go git diff readme and it only shows me the readme or git diff license and it only shows me the license. What happens if I don't want the license changes? Well, I can go, and they're not committed, I can go git checkout license. And now if I do a git status minus s or even a git status, you can see that it's just the readme that's left. Now I want to commit that readme because if I do a diff, I'm happy with that. I want that to be committed. So I can go git commit minus M. I'll hit dot. There's only one file, but I could always type readme or I could stage it and specify no file. There are a few ways to do this. You pick your preference. I always like to specify the file. I feel that I'm less likely to make a mistake. So here, let me do a commit removed unrequired blank lines. But I also added some blank lines. Let's try and make it descriptive. Refactored spacing. That's fine. Hit enter. Now this is committed. So if I do a git status, I have nothing, no changes, but it's not pushed up. It's not in a branch. If I delete this folder locally, all my changes will go and do commit as you go along, because then if you do make any mistakes, you can always go back to your last save point, your last commit that you're happy with. I want those changes in master to be available for everybody. I can push it, push this branch up, raise a pull request on GitHub, or I can do it all locally. So what I will do now is I will switch back to the master branch. I'll just go check out master. So now I'm on the master branch and I want to bring in the changes from that test branch. So all I would do is git merge test branch and then it says it's fast forward and I've got that commit. So if I do a git what changed, you can see in this master branch, you have my refactored spacing. And if someone else's commit has come in and you want to see the changes in that commit, well, you can do a git what changed. We can see this, but if you copy and paste the hash, you can also go git show and it's almost give you like a diff of the file as we saw before before we committed the changes and you can see that so now it's in master let's let's push it up because i want everyone else on the team to have it i go git push and the best way to do this is specify the remote in this case it's origin which is github and if you want to check that you can go git remote minus v i've only got one remote origin yes there are two there one's for fetch and one's for push but in terms of the location there's only one which is origin and you can see that at the beginning git push origin and then the branch name and if you set up your config you don't have to do this but i feel this is a bit safer i have to enter a password because i have a password on my ssh key and then it pushes it up so now that commit has gone and so you wouldn't ever want to undo any commits that have been pushed and we do have a discord channel so feel free to join us and the Discord channel and let's continue the discussion between videos and between live streams. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe below and share the video with your friends. Maybe they'll be interested too.